I am Garnet Robbins Boffman from Arlington. I am the Director of Advocacy at Just Future Project. At Just Future Project, we are Virginians from diverse backgrounds, professions, and regions. We're united by a passion for abolishing this deeply unjust and un-American SVP Act. We do not discriminate against anyone, including discrimination based on historical convictions. We believe everyone is actually innocent of future imaginary crimes. Over the past three years, we have become increasingly aware of violations of human rights of the Virginia citizens being held at the Virginia Center for Behavioral Rehabilitation. Our research has led us to you today. Just Future Project sent a letter via email to the committee copying DBHDS Director Allison Land asking for an investigation and actions which was met with a response dated June 15th from Tanika Goldman, referencing a FOIA request we never made, stating that no document referencing newly requested variances of VCBR existed. However, on the agenda for today's meeting, I noticed that variances are being presented by Ms. Goldman. It is time that the people being held at VCBR are accorded the protections that the state legislators put into law. If nothing else, these past few months have shown us that no group of people should be less than. These men have served their sentences given for their crimes. We are not here today to discuss the efficacy of treatment, nor can the excuse to take away their human rights be under the guise of treatment. We are here today asking this committee to fully follow the law. This committee bears a heavy moral responsibility along with legal liability for permitting and even abetting the ongoing massive violations of human rights at VCBR. You have no choice but to address these issues or bear the consequences of your inaction. Hello, my name is Marilyn McCarty and I live in Chesterfield County. A year ago, it came to the attention of the Just Future Project that the First Amendment rights to religious freedom were being denied to some of the men who attended worship services or Bible study at VCBR. The right to practice their religion was being withheld and used as punishment by the administration. Just Future was alarmed by this. We sent a letter to the Virginia ACLU. They, in turn, wrote to the director of VCBR. Nothing was done. Two of the men involved contacted the Rutherford Institute in Charlottesville. They wrote a letter to the director. Nothing happened. The Rutherford Institute filed a suit. Although a settlement was reached and the suit withdrawn, the administration had not followed the agreement and still has not completely done that. In fact, Just Future Project has watched the practice continue in both the Muslim and Christian communities at VCBR. Furthermore, we have documented that even when religious rights are restored, the men are punished using the guise of treatment. As you investigate the variances that we are certain DBHDS is about to request from you, Just Future Project will address our concerns about other violations to human rights at VCBR. Hello. My name is Lynetta Thompson and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I am retired after working 22 years in the Federal Bureau of Prison and I'm the past president of the Richmond NAACP. As such, I'm in a unique position to testify as to how VCBR is a prison environment. I advocate for a man who is currently at VCBR who was convicted and sentenced when he was 15 years old and served 32 years in prison. Upon his parole, he was civic committed to see VCVR where he has been for the last two years. I'm troubled to learn that freedoms he had been afforded in prison was taken from him at VCVR. These men have served their prison sentence and should be afforded the rights and dignity of citizens. There is little to no due process afforded these men. Many of their complaints seeking due process when forward to the human rights advocate are still unaddressed. Exemptions to the rules and regulations to assure the rights of individuals receiving services from providers licensed, funded, or operated by the Department of Behavior, Health, and Developmental Services are numerous as the rights themselves and are modeled after prison policies based on assumptions and generalization with no basis in proven research data. 
no individualized treatment needs of each resident. From my unique position and perspective, given the opportunity, I can testify as to how the variances currently in place for this fiscal year are counterproductive to restoration and rehabilitation. Thank you. I am Dr. Bernita Thompson. I am an African-American citizen. I own and operate two schools in Washington, D.C. I own a home in Hampton, Virginia, and have an extensive family in Virginia, including a son who has been caught up in this scheme for many years. He is living successfully in the community now. I can testify to the abuses and denial of basic human rights at BCBR and the damage that the denial of these rights does cause harm. As an African-American woman and mother and educator, I see the systematic racism at BCBR, where over 60% of the men are black, while the population in Virginia is between 17 and 19% black. And my family, along with countless others, are crippled by the unjust civil commitment law, which keeps our sons, our fathers, our husbands, our loved ones tied up indefinitely with physical and psychological punishment for their imaginary future sex crimes that they might commit. As the committee thoroughly investigates the violations of these men's human rights, I would like the opportunity to testify as to how these variances are used as punishment and abused by those in power at BCBR. I'm Natasha Inderbitson Lovingood from Springfield. My family roots run deep in Virginia. My fiance is in the Virginia Center of Behavioral Rehabilitation known as VCBR. I can personally testify how the variances granted over and over to the human rights of my fiance and those men and women held at VCBR directly and deeply negatively affect the personal lives of each of us. These variances to basic human rights allow for the administration to interfere directly in the personal lives of these men and their families. My fiance and I have been targeted by the administration at VCBR and we can justify and have document to what I'm saying. We have been targeted individually and as a couple. I was harassed by staff and my loved one has been exposed to a blatant racist individual. Staff knowingly put him in an unsafe situation. Staff used allowed behaviors due to the variances this committee granted to the basic human rights. We have documented other suspicious and illegal behaviors and actions by staff. Giving variances empowers bad actors to expand their reach even further. I realize that the time of this committee does not permit me to testify to what I've told you today, but as you investigate fully the request for variances for this next year, I would like to be granted the opportunity to do so. I'm certain that the Department of Behavioral Health and the Virginia Center of Behavioral Rehabilitation will couch every argument in the cloak of treatment. I can tell you this is a specious argument if you give me the chance to show you. I am Kirsten Darby from Caroline County. I found out about SVP civil commitment through a pen pal ministry I led through my church. I was appalled that men who had served their time in prison were further incarcerated at a shadow prison such as VCBR. After seeing firsthand successful integration in the community directly from prison, regardless of what ever past crimes they had committed. I am a retired Virginia public school teacher of over 30 years with most of those years in kindergarten. And if I believed that these laws in this facility did anything to protect children, I would support it wholeheartedly. Instead, the scheme punishes indefinitely those least likely to reoffend and takes valuable resources from Virginia's mental health budget which could serve to educate, counsel, and treat those who need it most, particularly children. I appreciate as a committee your concern for the human rights of individuals, but that concern must extend to all persons in DBHDS facilities, including VCBR. 
continued exemptions to these rights at VCBR, as well as violations to rights outside of the variances, of which there are many, with little to no oversight must stop. Just Future Project is requesting immediate action to the items mentioned in JFP's letter dated June 9, 2020, in an expedient manner. We await a response. Thank you.